Okay, so our next uh, class of uh, lipids would be steroids. Now, steroids have a really different structure than the other um, class of lipid molecules that we've been talking about. And so the essential um, structure of steroids is that they have a very um, specific nucleus on which to build. And it's a uh, four sets of rings three six-member rings built like this. Okay, so we got three six-member rings. And then there's one five-member ring on it as well. Okay, and so um, on to that fundamental structure uh, we can add things to any of those carbons um, on it and make different molecules. Uh, probably the most uh, famous steroid is cholesterol. Okay, so here we can see the the five, or excuse me, the four uh, rings. So we got the first six-member ring here, the second one right there, third, and then there's the five-member ring. Okay. So cholesterol, you might have guessed from your organic chemistry ending in OL, it has a hydroxyl group there. Um, it also has a double bond in that uh, second ring and a couple of alkyl chains, including a big alkyl side chain off of the five member ring. Okay, And so cholesterol has a lot of different uh, biological functions, including um, you know, structure or uh, uh, structural support to cell membranes. Um, we'll talk about uh, lipoproteins a little bit. Another very big class of steroids are hormones. A lot of hormones are, in fact, steroids. Okay, so the last uh, class of lipid molecules we'll talk about are terpenes. All right, so the uh, biological terpenes uh, start with uh, an isoprene molecule, which looks like this, it's just an alkene two double bonds um, that essentially link up to pyrophosphate groups. So a pyrophosphate group would be um, essentially the way I think about it is basically two phospho groups uh, put together, linked up. And of course they can have several different uh, scenarios and so when we link these up, the isoprene the pyrophosphate group, what they would create are these types of structures. Okay. And so this is an isopentanyl um, terpene. Uh, and then of course, uh, the big variation in terpenes is essentially uh, the number of isoprene units can differ. So the number of isoprenes can increase or decrease, usually by a factor of two. So there's classes of molecules that are you know, monoterpenes, or diterpenes, all the way up to triterpenes, and uh, a lot of different uh, classifications in between.